Hi students, I am Dr. Anurag Agarwal sir and this is Wilson Academy of English since 1998. Today's topic is very interesting and episode 2 Dr. Abhatanot by Alexander Pope. Episode ka matlab hota hai letter, missive. Yahaan pe confuse mat kariye ga ye ki ye ek letter hai. Now see what happens because I feel that this topic you might not have uh, studied properly, but this is in the examination, in the syllabus of Himachal PGT, UGC NET, and so many examinations because, yes, the author is Alexander Pope. So, my dear students, those who are career oriented and wish to excel in their coming examinations like NET JRF, SP, SSC, PGT, then uh, SB, UGC NET bilingual batch, pure English batch, UPSC optional and innumerable batches from the all India literature examinations. It is a blessing indeed to download the application OSN Academy from the Play Store. Any help, any guidance needed, you may contact the number given on the screen and get all the details and the guidance. So now, dear, my dear students, I am going to start this lecture and I am very much sure that you would like it or jin jin bacho ki bhi achha lage, press the like button, subscribe the channel and have a conversation with me live here. So welcome here at my channel OSN Academy and let us start this great work by Alexander Pope. Jaldi jaldi bacho live a jaiye aur apna presence uh, screen pe apne presence ke saath maar kariye. Aur jin bacho ne bhi is topic ko padha hai, wo ek baar thumbs up karke batayin ki haa sir humne ye padha hai. Aur jin bacho ne nahi padha hai, wo no ka nishan ya no lik karke bheje ki sir humne kabhi nahi padha hai. उससे ये समझ में आएगा कि आपने अपने एमए इंग्लिश में ये टॉपिक डिस्कस हुआ है या नहीं दो इट इज अ इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज व्हाई आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस इन ग्रेट डेप्थ अबाउट दिस डॉक्टर आप इट्स नॉट एन इंट्रोडक्शन एज फार एज Alexander Pope is concerned. So, my dear students, as you know, that this topic is written by none other but one of the greatest poets, Alexander Pope, and epistle to Dr. Abathanot. Now, this is actually a poem of fragmentary origin, a poem of Fragmentary topics up as a literature. It is a poem of fragmentary origin, means an epistle to Dr. Arbuthnot was published in 1735, and yes, it was January. It was neither conceived nor executed as a single work or as a whole poem and it was not written according to any plan neither was there any design in the mind of Alexander Pope agar sachai ki baat fact ki baat ye hai ki different different parts of this poem were written at different different times means ki jo, jo is poem ka pura structure hai जो पार्ट्स हैं वो अलग अलग समय पे अलग अलग हिस्से लिखे गए एंड द अर्लीएस्ट पार्ट और द अर्लीएस्ट पोर्शन ऑफ दिस पोएम दैट इज द कैरेक्टर ऑफ एटिकस कैरेक्टर ऑफ एटिकस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाज रिटन एज अर्ली एज 1700 and 
15 and was already in print by, by 1722. Other passages belong to the early 1730s. Pope ne kahi pe hum logo ko ye information bhi diya hai, kahi pe kisi, kisi jaghe pe, that he wrote the poem uh, by, by snatches as the several occasions offered. Jaisi jaisi koi koi occasions aate gaye, वैसे वैसे वो different different passages को लिखता गया that is why the entire poem is written in different different intervals so or you can say thus this poem may be described as one of the fragmentary origin however Pope was very or quite successful in welding का बत्तब होता है जैसे एक लोहार लोहे को लोहे से जोड़ता है वेल्डिंग कहते हैं ना वेल्डिंग चल रही है या इसमें वेल्डिंग करा लाओ सो पोप वाज एक्चुअली क्वाइट सक्सेसफुल इन वेल्डिंग द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फ्रैगमेंट्स ऑफ दैट पोएम रिटन एट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइम्स इनटू अ कोहेरेंट होल दैट वाज द ब्यूटी ऑफ अलेक्जेंडर पोप्स क्वालिटी एंड हिज डेडिकेशन एंड हिज इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी एंड हिज हैंड दैट Different different चीजों को जैसे कई कई आप लोहे के टुकड़े खरीद लाइए या उसको रख लीजिए और जैसे एक लोहार अपनी वेल्डिंग मशीन से चीजों को वेल्ड करके एक शेप दे देता है so that is the same way he मैनेज the different fragments of the poem written at different times and welded it from his mind into a coherent whole understood so, ye to iski shurwaat ho gai. Now, I would also tell you that this is an epistle with a few interruptions by, by Dr. Abhichanot. And this poem is written in the form of an epistle. Ye dekhi. This poem is written in the form of an epistle. Epistle ka matlab hota hai missive. Missive ka matlab hota hai patr. To ye jo, ek, ye jo poem hai, ये एक एपिसल के रूप में लिखी गई है एक लेटर के रूप में लिखी गई है और वो एड्रेस किया गया है इट इज एड्रेस बाय द ऑथर बाय द ऑथर मींस बाय अलेक्जेंडर पोप टू डॉक्टर आबथनॉट एंड हु इज डॉक्टर आबथनॉट ये कौन है हु इज दिस पर्सन हे इज वन ऑफ द वन ऑफ वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स क्लोज फ्रेंड्स बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स ऑफ पोप कई जगहों पे at certain certain points in the course of this work of this epistle, Dr. Abathnot is imagined as interrupting uh, Alexander Pope and asking a question or he is seen offering a suggestion or he is seen making a comment to which Pope then is replying thus resuming the epistle kai kai jagahon pe aisa dekha gaya hai ki abathnot jo hai he is imagined as he is interrupting pope question pooch raha hai offer kar raha hai suggestion ko comment kar raha hai jisme pope ne reply kiya hai us tarike se uh, epistle jo hai fir se resume le leti hai agar hum isko dusre shabdon mein samjhana chahe do written as an epistle yadapi ki ek epistle ki tarah likhi gayi hai and it is entirely the work of the great master Alexander Pope. The poem is loosely modeled in dialogue form. Yadapi ki isko Pope ne likha hai, but uh, loosely modeled in dialogue. Samajhte na one to one dialogue. Hamne bola, fir aapne bola. Do logo ko bolte hain dialogue. Mulo means one. So ye modeled hai dialogue form mein. And Pope himself begins and carries on till line 75 75 line tak usko carry kiya hai isne jaha pe phir wo interrupt kar raha hai Pope and offering a bit of advice to him subsequently what happens Dr. Abathnot phir se 
इंटरप्ट करते हैं पोप को थ्री और फोर टाइम्स अगेन सो दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग फेज एंड आपको यहां यह भी जानना होगा दैट हु इज डॉक्टर आबथ नॉट ही वॉज बॉर्न इन स्कॉटलैंड डॉक्टर आबथ नॉट वॉज बॉर्न इन ही वॉज बॉर्न इन स्कॉटलैंड और कब पैदा हुए थे इन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सेवन एंड बिकेम वेरी एमिनेंट न कि न कि केवल अपने मेडिसिन के प्रोफेशन में वो एमिनेंट हुए बट ऑल्सो ही बिकेम एमिनेंट इन मैथमेटिक्स एंड क्लासिकल स्कॉलरशिप मैथमेटिक्स एंड क्लासिकल स्कॉलरशिप ऑल्सो ही बिकेम पर्सनल फिजिशियन टू क्यू इन एन ए ये शायद आपको ना पता हो ही बिकेम पर्सनल फिजिशियन टू क्वीन एनी कब सत्रह सौ नौ में ही बिकेम हिज पर्सनल फिजिकल यू नो डॉक्टर एंड कॉन्टिन्यू टू बी हिज पर्सनल फिजिशियन टिल सेवनटीन फोर्टीन सत्रह सौ नौ से लेकर के सत्रह सौ चौदह तक वो क्वीन एन ए के पर्सनल फिजिशियन थे आपको याद होगा जैसे स्विफ्ट लाइक स्विफ्ट ही वॉज ऑल्सो अ टॉरी जैसे स्विफ्ट टॉरी था उसी प्रकार से ही वॉज ऑल्सो अ टॉरी इन पॉलिटिक्स एंड देयर बाय ही रोट अ राजनैतिक पैम्फलेट्स इसको हिंदी इंग्लिश में कहेंगे ही रोट पोलिटिकल पैम्फलेट्स ही वॉज ऑल्सो a prominent member of the scribblers club he was also a prominent member of the scribblers club and wrote the greater part of the memoirs of uh, martin scribblers memoirs यद्यपि कि वो एक प्रोमिनेंट मेंबर भी थे स्क्रिबलर्स क्लब के और जो द मेमोर्स ऑफ मार्टिन स्क्रिबलर्स है इसको लिख लीजिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ये द मेमोर्स ऑफ मार्टिन स्क्रिबलर्स इसका ज्यादातर हिस्सा अब मतलब ज्यादातर ग्रेटर पार्ट ऑफ दिस वर्क एंड दिस वॉज पब्लिश इन सेवनटीन वो लिखा था डॉक्टर आबथ नॉट ने अगर हम डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन की बात करें डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन डिस्क्राइब्स आबथ नॉट एज अ मैन एस्टिमेबल फॉर हिज लर्निंग फॉर हिज एमेबल क्वालिटी ऑफ हिज लाइफ एंड वेनरेबल फॉर हिज पीटी एंड डॉक्टर आबथ नॉट डाइड अ मंथ After the publication of this poem, एक महीने बाद ही उनकी death हो गई ये थोड़ा सा sad था उनके लिए sad था और वाकई में यह सबके लिए एक sad बात थी Now, an epistle to Dr. आबथ नॉट ये एक वैसी कविता है ये एक ऐसी poem है which was written by its author pope in self defense a very important point indeed noted down this was written by pope in self defense it has justly been described as his apologia uh, apologia pro vita sua apologia pro vita it has justly been described as his apologia pro vita sua that is a defense of writer's whole life and yes 
in the advertisement which precedes the poem alexander pope has actually explained the reason for the publication of this poem and the manner in which it has been composed unhone aur ye bhi bataya hai that the poem is actually intended to be a kind of catalog and that catalog is of his grievances and those grievances are against certain people and that it was written not as one whole but by snatches as the several several occasions had been demanding he further says that he would not have published this poem if he had not been attacked in a very extraordinary manner by some persons of very high rank or people of high fortune and by some persons of rank and fortune pope ka matlab tha uh, pope means the authors of verses to the imitator of horace and of an epistle to a doctor of divinity from a nobleman at hampton court and the author of these poems were lord harve and lady uh, lady mary montagu and the first of these poems having been uh, written jointly by two authors and the latter poem having been written by lord harve alone lady mary montagu was one of the most conspicuous society woman of that time while lord harve had distinguished himself in the field of politics aur ye dono log both of them were poets as well so jo pope tha na unka jo terms tha pope had been on terms of intimacy with lady mary montagu <coughs> and had been corresponding regularly with her even when she had gone abroad for a time being and when she returned back to england the friendship continued but after some time a quarrel had taken place and the two had become uh, mutually antagonistic to each other pope then began to attack lady mary in his poems अपने पोएम्स में वो उनको अटैक करने लगे गिविंग हर द नेम ऑफ सैफो उनका नाम रख दिया सैफो लेडी लेडी मैरी मोन्टोगो का नाम रख दिया सैफो एंड हु वॉज सैफो सैफो वॉज एन एंशियंट ग्रीक पोइटिस हैविंग अ बैड मॉरल रेपुटेशन देखा आपने किस तरीके से उन्होंने बदला लिया एंड विद लॉर्ड हरवे Pope had never been on any terms of intimacy. He had attacked Lord Harvey in one or two of his uh, poems, giving him the Lord of, giving him the name of Lord Fanny. Lord Fanny. Lord Harvey was an influential man, being a favorite of uh, Sir Robert Walpole. and a confidential adviser to queen carolyn now see lady mary and lord harve had combined to attack pope and had written the verses to the imitations of horace which was published in march 1733 and lord harve in august of the same year had written a verse and epistle to dr a uh, doctor of divinity from a nobleman which was published in the following november so aapko pata hai ki pope kafi sensitive insaan the yadipi he was a very sensitive man to criticism unko bilkul pasand nahi tha ki unko koi criticize kare so jab kisi ne unke sath koi koi bad vyavhar kiya criticism kiya he decided to give a reply to these attacks on his person on his morals 
and his family even. And as he says in the advertisement also, his object in publishing the poem was to give to the reading public the true facts about himself so as to remove the impression produced by the misleading charges and accusations which had been made against him in the two uh, poems mentioned above by uh, Harvey and Lady Mary Montagu. So, again coming to an epistle to Dr. Avatanot, ye basically a satire hai, a vang ki rachna hai, just ki apna sthan bada important hai in the poetical works of Pope. And this poem shows Pope's satire, ya Pope's art of satire at its best. Kitna kalatmak insan tha, Pope kitna bada author tha, ki satire jaysi cheez ko usne kitne behtreen tarikay se likha hai. And, and broadly speaking, there are two kinds of satire of which the original masters were the two distinguished Roman poets. Ek tha Horace aur ek ka naam hai Juvenal. Yehi do master the satire likhne ke. And these two Romans uh, represented different two modes. That is uh, genial and juvenile. Juvenile excelled in writing severe lashing satire. And the first kind of satire works chiefly in terms of laughter uh, and may be called uh, comic satire, genial. And the second mode emphasizes a great attack in which the laughter is very small. You can say that it is not true. And this may be called, where it is not true, you can say that it is not Corrosive satire. Agar hum Jonathan Swift ki baat kare, while Jonathan Swift, we all know that he holds a commanding position as a writer of corrosive satire. But Pope has followed the Horatian mode of satire. The Horatian or the comic satire is generally regarded as a richer form, as a richer and a more, uh, you can say, complete treatment of humanity than purely corrosive satire. But Pope does not write exclusively comic or Horatian satire. He also gives a ample evidence of his capacity to write corrosive satire. And is work ki baat kare in the epistle to Dr. Abithanot, we have found, yeah, we find a mingling, a blending of the two modes of satire. There are many passages in this poem which are extremely witty, which are extremely amusing and thereby these produce a truly comic effect. But there are some passages which are very sharp, which are very corrosive, which are very biting, which are very uh, scathing, which are very denunciatory and even defamatory. If you take a few examples, the opening passage of this poem have a rich comic quality. And in that passage, Pope has a good laugh. And at the way in which a multitude of poetasters pester him at his villa in Tukhanam. He also makes fun of, uh, uh, of uh, the utter incompetence of these poetasters and their high opinion of their own poetic ability. Or this tariqe say, the manner in which he has ridiculed the poet taster living in the garret in the Drury Lane, who writes verses even before he is fully awake. And the manner in which he is laughing, he is mocking, are also very, very amusing. So, in such passages, actually, we enjoy the witty attacks which Pope makes upon the worthless poets. Fine. So, apart from this, there is one important point 
and that is autobiographical element in the poem. Have you ever heard this uh, this aspect? Autobiographical element. Auto bio graphical element in the poem in the epistle to dr arbuthnot which is a highly autobiographical poem pope here speaks not only about the contemporary poet samkalin ke bare mein baat nahi karta mostly in a mocking or offensive terms but also about himself apne bare mein bhi bahut sare aise passages hai poem ke where pope is endeavoring to project his own personality and his own character he dwells at length upon what he believed to be the principal traits of his character and thereby he is trying to trace his development as a poet telling us how at first he wrote a descriptive and fanciful poem and how later on yeah afterwards he began to write a realistic poetry and how he is trying to moralize his song in the interest of virtue so it must however be recognized that in uh, delineating his own character pope is partial to himself what we get in this poem is a more or less glorified portrayal of uh, pope's character a glorified character portrayal of pope's character so this is actually very important so this is all what uh, i think uh, one thing more which is coming to my mind is if you go to the concluding sections of an epistle to dr arbuthnot which shows pope's genuine and deep filial pity and if i talk about the part of the poem around uh, 380 to 414 380 or 420 ke beech mein pope ne bahut zabardast ek glowing tribute diya hai to both his parents और वो जो लाइन है 380 और 420 के बीच में वो लाइंस एंश्राइन करती हैं फीलिंग्स को एंश्राइन करती हैं सेंटिमेंट्स को विच आर मोस्ट प्रेशस एंड मोस्ट वर्दी ऑफ एक्चुअली द एडमिरेशन एंड द लाइंस इन विच पोप हैज एक्सप्रेस हिज एफेक्शन एंड हिज वेनरेशन फॉर हिज मदर आर स्पेशली charged with tenderness pope has been attacked by some of his critics as i have told you lord harvey and lord uh, lady mary montagu for his humble birth but in the concluding passages if you see of the poem he shows how a humble parentage can be a respectable parentage and while the whole poem was written and published as a vindication of pope's character and a reputation as a poet the concluding passages are especially notable for their authentic and convincing quality so this was all about uh this great poem and i am very much sure that you would have liked the lecture and thank you so much हा सुमन गौरव स्निग्धा यूट्यूब शांताराम शफाक एनी क्वेश्चंस Okay then take care bye bye Life of a child is that
दो 